What's going on YouTube? Mr. Beantown here. Today I got some Florida State Seminoles gameplay for you. Going up against a very tough Texas Longhorns team. You see there, they have some very highly rated players. I got some of my own, but uh, before I get this into this commentary, I want you guys to just stick around to the end. This is probably game of the month. Comes down to the end. Uh, last play of the game, I believe. And uh, total, totally game of the month. So, you see there... This dude, he had a, uh, a very strong rushing attack. He was running the QB option. This was uh, when I had a lot more trouble stopping the read option than what I do now. See, oh, look at that. We got a nice stop right there. First and goal. And uh, I after, I think, midway through this game, I kind of kind of kept the QB uh, option in contained. So he uh, wasn't able to beat me for such long gains like he did on that first drive. I think he got a 40-yard run on me. With a quarterback, that's completely unacceptable. But you see, they have third and seven. Uh, we're just looking. We go over the middle. We hit him with this skinny route, but he ends up dropping the pass. So we're frustrated. We, that should have been a completed pass. So we go for it on fourth and seven, and we get caught up in our linemen, and we go down for a sack. So my opponent stopped us on our first drive of the game. He scored on his first drive, and he's got the ball. He's got a chance to take a two-possession lead. Not the start you want to get off, and this is definitely not the kind of defense I was expecting for my team. Broke off a tackle, and he broke out, I think, like a 40-yard run right there. So my running defense is atrocious at best in this game. And we break a tackle of ourselves there, but we still get sacked. Setting up a second and long, and we go right over the top on the corner route to number 15. He picked up a huge gain. I think that was only about 40 yards. Yeah, 41. So that we're feeling good after that long play. We're just moving our way down the field now. Abusing the left side of the field, he uh, definitely wasn't a, thinking about guarding that. But we take off with our quarterback, number five. Don't know who he is. And you see that we're right at the goal line. We're in position to score, and that's exactly what we do here with a QB, uh, a QB blast. I believe a QB draw, and our quarterback takes it into the end zone. And you see that running the read option, I, he's getting eight yards every time he runs with it, and it's very difficult to stop if you don't know what you're doing. But thankfully, midway through this game, I kind of uh, did a better job of that. And to see he's handing off to his running back, and even his running back is gaining some great yardage. It's definitely tough when uh, your opponent's set up in second and sixes and uh, second and fives. But look at that mistake right there. He went to go pitch it off to his running back, but one of our defensive players got in the middle of that and caused a fumble. Now we have a chance to tie this game up. Look at that play right there. We hit the wheel route to our running back. He's wide open on the left side of the field for our first down. We're moving our way down the field. See our quarterback just standing tall in the pocket. And he eats a coverage sack. Only lost a one yard. But that's okay. And we hit the out route right there. Third and 11. Good completion. Setting us up on a, at the goal line to go. And look at this play right here. We get into the end zone. No, we're just a yard short. See there, we score right before the end of the half with 13 seconds left. And we tie the game up. Uh, considering we were down 14 nothing already, uh, we're in a good position to take control of this game. Last play before the half, my opponent just chucks it down the field. Does he get a completion? No, it's batted down. So we go into halftime tied, uh, 14 to 14, feeling great. Uh, we were able to basically control that second quarter. We scored 14 points. Uh, my opponent wasn't really able to do much, and that was just a bad throw. He baited me into that throw, so. Just when we thought we had control of this game, my opponent's able to come up with a key turnover and take it over, and he hits us with a crazy screenplay. Thought it was going to the left side. And it, uh, the screen went to the right side. He picked up a huge game, probably at least 30 to 40 yards. And he's running the read option again. He broke a tackle in the backfield, but I'll take that. If, my, if he's going to break tackles with his quarterback, that's fine. i got to live with that. But on third and six, he's scrambling, and he, wow. Just bad users on my part. I'm really struggling this year with uh, controlling the middle linebacker, and it's definitely not a uh, definitely not a good thing to do in this game because you definitely need to uh, be able to patrol the middle with your linebacker. On fourth and nine, we uh, decide to go for it out of sheer frustration, and he read our play, and we still tried to force a pass in there. Not a good play on our part. So he has the ball here, and he has a chance to go up by two possessions. We're winding down the third quarter. Odds are by the time I get this ball back, it'll be somewhere in the fourth quarter. 
and he picks up a huge first down there. Falls forward. He's about the 35-yard line. He's running some screen plays. That was definitely new to me because I haven't seen anybody run QB. Uh, I mean, apologize, our wide receiver screens in this game so far. But as you see here, we just got into the fourth quarter. Third and seven, we're able to hold him to a field goal. And that's exactly what it takes. He takes his field goal. He's up by 10, and he's in a very advantageous spot. But we're not giving up yet. We've been able to stop him. Look at this play right here. We Last second, we see RB cutting up the field, and we were able to get the ball off to him. He's setting us up in a good position. Oh, he drops a pick right there. Is that going to come back to haunt him? Just have to watch and find out. You see, there we go over the top one time. Oh, great catch right there. I think we may have taken control of him and went for that jump ball, but... We were able to come through with the ball, and we're only down by three. We decided to kick it off deep. There's still plenty of time left. I, I think I'm due for a turnover or a stop or something of that nature. So we have faith in our defense. And see, we're stopping the QB option, the QB run, anything like that. Setting up with a third and 11. He goes for this land route, and it's knocked down. Setting up a fourth and 11. He punted us the ball. So we have the ball. All we have to do is get into field goal range or at least send this game into overtime. Or we can go for the win with a touchdown. Well, first we have to get into field goal range before we can start thinking about a touchdown. But we're able to scramble right there on second and three. And we're able to stop the clock with the first down. And uh, we're just looking in the pocket. You see there, he's only rushing one guy. And we're just going to take whatever he's going to give us. We have plenty of time, two timeouts. We're running the no huddle. It was in a good formation. Just look at this play. He's, he bites into the... Uh, he thought my running back was just going to stay in the flat. But it was actually a wheel route. Big mistake by my opponent, and we're able to we're able to uh, pick up that big play. And look at that—we get lucky right there with a fumble recovery. But next play, we just use a slant route over the middle of the field, and that sets us up in to goal territory. Drops another interception—that's huge. Second and goal. We're just looking. We're trying to scramble, but we get hit by our lineman. Third and goal. He's only rushing one. I'll let the announcer take over from here, guys. Just listen. We're able to get the game-winning touchdown right there. He's got basically one play to go. He runs a screen. He has actually one play here to go. Can he score a touchdown? He has to go 75 yards. Oh, he passed the line of scrimmage. And he fumbles it back, and we intercept it. Uh, but that's the game, guys. We're able to pull out a miraculous 10-point comeback in the fourth quarter. And if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. And until next time, guys, as always, thank you for watching.